guys. Post Customs. I uh, had to try to finish and get it y'all completed um, on the next day. But I'm going to go ahead and jump into this because I know I got all these other introductions when it comes to the video. But basically, I want to talk about some of the major things that uh, happened when we were at the Ben stores. First, what we did, we went to uh, Crazy Cast Boys in Columbia, which was great. Um, I had a lot of major hits. One of the things that I got a little frustrated with, but I don't know if a lot of, this is my first time experiencing this. I don't know if a lot of resellers have experienced this. A lot of times you get a lot of people that aren't as nice handling the packages that you prefer them to be, throwing stuff around. So as I was going through, I started getting a good bit of different deals and stuff. Y'all don't mind this stuff on the floor. This is other stuff I'm going to be sharing with y'all um, from elsewhere. But basically, I had, and if y'all, excuse my dog if y'all see it, because she likes to come over here and bother me, like I just said. Anyway, so everybody meet Cover Girl, a.k.a. Coco. All right, mama. So I ended up getting some great stuff. Get down. Uh, for instance, this helmet here is a uh, Shim Max. This helmet actually retails pretty high. I'll give y'all some comps and stuff here in shortly. Um, I found this um, HDMI extender over a, I don't have no idea what that is, some type of remote control thing, a majigger. This was pretty good for comps. What I remember, I got this pack. I know y'all couldn't see a lot of the small things in the picture. A beard oil. It's a six pack. Um, a Latron wall mount infrared switch, some kind of switch, a nail driller, didn't come with a charger, um, I had got a kit from Go Well that was a blood glucose kit, and I noticed that the test scripts at the time were very, y'all excuse her, were very, um, they were selling pretty fast. So when I saw these in a box of six, and this is actually sold as a set. It's a 300 count, 50 scripts, and six packs. These sell pretty well. Um, some type of beginner, uh, looks like building uh, some type of circuit boards and stuff kit. A brand from Penty. I don't know if y'all know much about working the hardwood and stuff like that. Craig, Jig, uh, pocket hole screws and stuff, are they sell pretty well. Um, I found some Polaroid sunglasses, which I had never seen myself, um, that retail pretty high. Shockingly, I actually, uh, found these, and I'm big in sneakers and stuff. I used to sell sneakers back in college. Um, these Under Armour cleats, all gold. People love these cleats, um, especially the style of cleats. I play, um, women's tackle football, so I'm guaranteed that these are going to sell. They're a good size too. I think they're an 11. Either 11 or 11 and a half. Yeah, 11 and a half. Um, also, from watching a good bit of different resellers, um, Harry Tornado being one of them, he talks a lot about uh, Muzanos. Muzunos, I think is how you pronounce it. It's a big golfing brand and they do a lot of different stuff sports wise, not just golf. But I actually came up on these Wave Inspire 16s. These. Um, I only paid, I went also on a $5 Saturday, is what Crazy Cats was, was doing at the time. I was told that it was probably best for me to come on a Friday, which I'll tell y'all why in a second. I really wish I had came on a Friday, but um, either way, you know, you learn. Uh, but these retail at about 80, 90 bucks, um, and I only paid five for them, so I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, a little blue post kit that I found that's Bluetooth. That's going to sell for pretty good money. This is about 40 bucks, I believe. Um, now, my wife lucked up. Well, she didn't luck up. I call her my, my little baby pit bull, but she's like my good luck charm. She does um, like some stuff that's like engineering. In a way, she does coding for different major parts that people, metal parts and stuff that people do like GMC cars and all that jazz. Um, what she was doing before. Now she does similar manufacturing work, but with tape that's used in engines and stuff for heat and all that jazz. 
But my point is, she came across this box here. I didn't have a clue what it was when she showed it to me. I still don't have a clue what these things are used for. I'm still doing some research with it. But it's called a 5C collet. It's some type of metal working piece for maybe some machinery or something. Uh, apparently this box, it comes with several little boxes in it. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's kind of like oiled up and stuff. Um, it's clearly some type of mechanic machine piece or something. Um, but it comes with 20, supposed to be 3, 23 pieces in here. I think I'm three pieces short, so I got 20 pieces in here. Filled to the top. So this whole box is filled with those little things. Y'all gonna be so shocked at how much this thing is worth. Um, again, I paid five bucks for it, but I'm gonna tell y'all what everything kind of balances out to. Uh, this snorkel kit was a pretty good find. It's about 30, 40 bucks. I'm um, trying to see if I'm missing anything. Ain't come across ink for a lot of the new eco tanks machines and stuff that have the single ink cartridges. Those are always good. That's what this is here. Um, I can sell. I had an option to sell those individually. However, I'm gonna sell them as a pack because I believe that's how they were being sold, and it'll be more of a profit that way. Um, I found myself a wall close shaver. Which those go for about 110 bucks, but this this is not new, so um, I'm probably gonna keep it for myself. Get new blades and everything for it, and clean it up. Um, there was a guy that I met coming into the store. You'll see a glimpse of him inside the video. He was talking about how well these uh, tactical vests sell. Now, I don't know if y'all know or not. In my main job, I'm in law enforcement. Um, I'm not really gonna get more specific than that. Now, everybody likes law enforcement, but I don't act like law enforcement, if that makes sense. Anyway, we have different tactical vests that ballistic vests can go into, meaning your uh, Kevlar that protects you. Uh, I don't, this doesn't appear as if Kevlar can go into it, so I wouldn't necessarily say it's like a fully tactical vest. No, actually it can. So ballistics can go inside here, and they actually got a pocket for, um, Another little, we call it a, a Kevlar pad to go right there near the heart area. So you actually can use it for tactical. It, it, basically, this would be called a uh, these straps and stuff. The Molly. This would be considered. Yeah, you also got to carry. Let's get your man out. Get your battle buddy out. Uh, drag him. Um, but apparently, this thing has several different pieces. So this this probably. I really couldn't find the comps on this like I wanted to. I still got some research to do with it, but you got your magazine pouches, your AR pouches, or a long rifle, I should say. Uh, looks like you got a pistol mag that can go there. You can put your Velcro stuff there. So, you know, basically your tactical carrier vest or militia vest um, and a commando color. He said that he... I also like the fact that they got this, I don't know what you call these wire things here, but these are great to have on, especially when you've got things that need to hang off of it. Um, it's like the bike chain things where you do the bike brakes, whatever you want to call them things. But uh, he said they were selling quite well for him. He didn't really say how much and he didn't say what platform. Um, but I saw he was racking up on them. I looked up to grab one before he could grab it, so I test my, my hand at it. Uh... But yeah, this part, uh, so then, we went over to, and I'll tell y'all what these two pieces in just a second, because my heart's still broken about it. But we went over to, um, Dream Deals, I think it is. And Dream Deals, basically, uh, I think it's something we should have went early morning, because I think we just basically ended up with a lot of the picked over stuff, but I was, however, able to get one thing out of there, and this was this 127 piece art kit. It's an art studio kit. Uh, this thing, actually, I guess right now, because of the pandemic and everything, because of COVID, um, a lot of people or a lot of kids in their uh, classes and stuff that they are in, that they're, you know, getting ready to actually kind of come out of uh, the summer's coming up, but they use this stuff for their kids and stuff to keep busy or themselves. It's a pretty, looks like a pretty good uh, art kit. But these and puzzles are selling really heavy right now to have home activities and stuff. 
Um, I think this kit right here is actually selling for, I think, maybe 40 bucks. Um, I paid 6 bucks for this at Dream Deals. So, I didn't think that was too bad. And, basically, uh, a lot of this other stuff here, I was lucky enough to get two pairs of shoes, some other Mizunos from um, Goodwill. This uh, Wii board, that's a really good shape. The Wii uh, exercise board, I think I only paid like four bucks for this thing, with the silicone on it. So, um, that was pretty cool. Uh, a lot of these Modella brands for babies and stuff and basically pumps and stuff for moms. This was an actual beginner pumping style advanced starter kit. I have some other pieces that I bought from uh, some clearance items with Walmart that I'm going to bulk with this because there are some pieces missing from this kit. However, I think if I combine it together, it'll be a great kit for a mom that's wanting to um, do breastfeeding themselves and stuff. You know, um, I think that'll be great for them. Anybody that's starting out, so anybody interested, let me know. Um, and there's a couple other items I'm going to do videos later on about, but I want it basically for y'all to be able to see what I got from a day's worth of bin stores and thrifting. As you can tell, at the end of my video, I was extremely exhausted. <laughs> extremely exhausted. And, um, we had fun, though. We had a lot of fun. I got, I love us got two, uh, MacBook. You know, it's always good to grab some Apple stuff, but MacBook, um, chargers for computers. One brand new in the box, another... Uh, open box but it works and so now to the story about this bad boy right here so I'm ciphering through some stuff and when I found this it wasn't boxed like this I found this part first and as you can tell it got like a cut hole in the back there but I found this box first and I got to looking at it and I know a lot of big gaming friends from college, and I was like, I think this looked like some gaming stuff because it had the G-Force on it. So I started looking it up. Guys, I swear I about lost my mind when I found this thing because I found them separated like this, and this box was open. Clearly, I'm heartbroken because there's nothing in it. But it was out like this and everything. I'm not sure if someone knew what they had and saw the hard piece, the hardware, and grabbed it up. But basically, it's like a computer fan and a storage gigabyte for gaming, a gaming computer or laptop. This particular brand here and this particular model is worth over $1,000. If I could have found this thing, I would have left everything else in store and wouldn't even care. <laughs> However, I wasn't that lucky. So, someone had already taken it out the box. I mean, to see a photo of it by itself, you would never really, if you didn't know anything about gaming computers or anything like that, or electronics, you would have never known what it was. So, when I tell you I tore up almost every bin trying to find this thing, I was not lucky at all. However, you're probably wondering, why did I get the box then? Why did you waste five bucks on the box? Here's why. Because this box by itself, just the box, empty, container, everything without the item, um, even with the little slight damage that might be on here, this box itself will sell, I think we said about 20 bucks, maybe. The only comp we found right now for this box is about 15 bucks, but I know brands like Louis Vuitton, Coach and stuff like that, with just the box and the dust bags and stuff, right? that's a purse, but just the dust bags and stuff like that, those things sell for uh, sometimes close to, in between 50 to 100 bucks. I'm quite sure I can get 50 bucks for this box. Free shipping. Just the box, y'all. The item in the box together would have been perfect. However, I didn't get that lucky. But, there's always a but. Going out the store, I saw this thing here turned upside down. And I thought it was quite heavy. And I saw one of the keys were pulled off of it inside the plastic. Instead of opening it up, I was like, yeah, you know what, whatever it is, I'll find out when I get home, I'm going to just spend $5 for it. Mm -hmm. This is another gaming device. It's a drop shift keyboard. This keyboard links up to your computer, it lights up the whole works. 
Um, you can take the keys off to make basically this keyboard do and, and however you want. It's like a big old key circuit board. Um, if y'all guys don't believe me, look up the brand Dropshift. You can go to www.drop.com. Um, but this keyboard is worth some money. This keyboard retails at almost $300. Just this keyboard. It doesn't come with any cords or anything. It's, it's not supposed to. You, you can put, uh, hook up your own C, a USB type C to it to go to your computer. On both sides, you can hook up any devices that you want, you know, add a mouse, whatever. Um, I think the only thing that's missing from this is, you know how sometimes you can prop your keyboard up? It got the little extra metal pieces. You can buy those separate to make it stand up off of the computer. But this keyboard itself, and this is a pretty heavy duty keyboard. Um, if y'all guys know anything about this keyboard, leave it and leave, uh, drop some comments and leave your thoughts in the comment section. But this keyboard is retailed at about between 250 to 300 bucks. Um, so 9 out of 10. Of course, I'm going to make my money back with this. But, however, with all these items collectively, I'm bound to basically quadruple my money. And I'll tell y'all about that in just a second. So, here's what we found. And this is just giving you guys a quick rundown. For the Shine Max helmet, is about 40 bucks. It was retail at 53. I'm probably gonna sell it for about 40 bucks. Um, this HDMI transmitter is what that was that I was telling you about in the box underneath the helmet. It's made by SIG. It retails at 260 bucks. I'm gonna probably be selling it for close to about 150. Um, the Epson. Replacement ink, that box together retails about thirty-eight dollars. I'll be selling about thirty on the lower end. Beard oil, um, I'm probably gonna be selling those individually, not as a box. Of course, I know MacBook chargers, they go for pretty good. I'm probably gonna be selling them because one of them actually came with a ten-dollar Amazon gift card, so I'm gonna still include that in it as well. Um, probably sell it for about thirty-five, thirty-eight bucks. Um, trying to make sure. I Hit all the heavy ones. Oh, this uh, Penty thing here in the box is damaged. If anybody knows how to solder. But it's a, a basically a sight light, laser light for a rifle. I got the uh, piece that kind of broke off for the uh, battery part inside. Someone manhandling the stuff broke it is what happened. Um... Because it was all outside the box. I actually dug around around the box where I found it to find the piece. And was lucky enough to find it. Um, I know how to solder, but if someone wants to buy it, I'm selling it. You know, damaged, putting it, everything as is marked with it. And whoever has experience, they can do it. Um, especially if they want to be doing it to suit their weapon. So, i just rather leave that to the person that wants to purchase it. I'm going to sell it on the way lower end. It retails at about 65 bucks. I'm probably going to sell it down to more like maybe 25 bucks or so because I mean it's definitely a good light. It just needs to be soldered back on so on and so forth. Um The Mizuno Wave shoes, they retail at 150. Like I said, I'm probably going to be selling for about 190 to 100 bucks. That drop shift keyboard 250, I'll be selling it for about close to 200 180 probably range. Um, like I said, I gotta recheck the comps on the vest there because it's actually not just one of those stylish vests for clothing, which a lot of people probably are using it for that. It's an actual carrier vest. Ballistic piece and parts can go inside of it, so that means it is on the higher scale. Um, and really, that's it. The Under Armour cleats go for about one thirty. I probably sell them for about 60 because they do look like uh, they got a little bit of a little green residue like somebody may warm once. I definitely could clean that up. Cleats are still in good condition. Um, no issues there. Uh, what those things are called in that box are high precision collets. Whatever that means. Um, but yeah, I'll be selling them as a box 20 pieces because it's supposed to be 23 pieces. So um, I would have to say definitely uh, some good stuff. So I spent 113 bucks even and that was just uh that 113 bucks everything i called up was just the um 
Crazy Cast Boys lot. Uh, mm -hmm. lot. Uh, I look and stand to profit based on my lower end prices and the prices that I've got checking comps. Uh, one thousand one hundred thirty. Uh, excuse me, one thousand one hundred seventy-four bucks and seventy-eight cents. Had I found that little baby right there, we will be looking at two thousand four hundred sixty-three dollars and seventy-eight cents. Now y'all see why my feelings hurt, but it's okay. You lose some. I just want y'all to know you lose some. So I'm hoping that y'all enjoy. I'm gonna do my best to keep trying to bring you good content, good videos. Um. This is our first time really going to a bin store ever. So we enjoyed it. The missus really enjoyed it to the point where that thing was in bed like super early. <laughs> it was falling asleep on me when we was trying to get comps and write stuff down. So she's now real rested. I'm getting ready to try to list a lot of this stuff. And I'll probably do another video to add on to this one. Because I did also do before going to Dream Deals on Thursday night. Friday morning, I did a quick lot of uh, Walmart clearance stuff, which has been really, really getting it in. And also ventured into another thrift store called Value Village. Um, I got some major pieces from there as well. I don't think I spent that day over 25 bucks, And I got a lot of vintage stuff, um, just stuff that needs to get listed up. So, y'all, I'm going to be spending this whole Sunday listing. May end up, end up having to enjoy... Uh, TJ April and their listing party if they're doing it today because uh, we got to get to work. So it was a joy. Thank you guys for the support. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Please help us build. Let's support one another. I want to thank everybody in the pallet jacking group for your support. Um, I know y'all get tired of seeing my crazy stuff I put up there. Um, but thank you so much. Y'all get to also enjoy my crazy friend that went with us. Um, her entertaining self. I was so happy because she came back. And guys, I don't know if y'all see this or not over here. But she came back and shopped at my little store right there. She had already spent money. I even got stuff in that closet over there. I'm going to open that closet for y'all. She had already spent money. And then she came and spent money with your girl. Tell y'all. Support your friends. Support your friends. Yeah, we got a closet full of stuff. But yeah, we got to get to work. We got to put some work in. So I appreciate you guys. Like I said, more content to come. Enjoy yourselves. Y'all have a blessed Sunday.